Hi, right, I'm Gavin from Pipes Direct, and I'm going to show you how to uh, make and crimp a hydraulic hose. Um, so I've already cut my hose to length. Um, so what I need to do now is put my ferrule on. So push that on, make sure that's all the way on, up to the collar. Um, next I'm going to want to push my fitting in. Now this is uh, quite tight in this hose, so you can put a little bit of oil on into the hose, just to make it a bit easier. Uh, you then push that all the way into the hose making sure that it's right up to the front of the ferrule there so it's got the locking ring there. Right, so that's my fitting in the hose and then I'll put the other end in. Again, a little bit of oil just to make it a bit easier. Make sure it's all the way in. Pull the ferrule back, make sure that is all the way in. You see that's all the way in. Now I need to find the crimp setting for the hose. So using my crimp chart, I'm gonna find the appropriate hose which is a two wire compact hose, uh, and then find the correct fitting uh, ferrule uh, for the hose. So I've got a 2SC hose, which is a two wire compact. So that's this hose here. I'm using a FE17 ferrule, um, and it's a half inch hose. So I follow that along to my 2SC with an FE17, which gives me a 23.2. So now I'm going to want to set my uh, swager to 23.2. Go onto the menu by pressing down on the uh, control knob. Set diameter, again press down, and then scroll around to 23.2. So scroll this all the way around so I get to the setting I need of 23.2. Okay, now push down to confirm. It's telling me that I need 22 dies, um, which I've already got in. Uh, if I need to change the dies, then all I need to do is just pull the dies out, pull it out, they've got a little locking pin, um, and then get your appropriate die, and again, lock it, push it into that groove there, and then you'll hear it click in place, and that's now in place, and that's how you change your dies. So I can click that, say okay, that's all set up. This machine has a either a push button or a foot pedal. Uh, I'm going to put the hose in from the back and then look from the front so that I can see the front of the ferrule to make sure that um, I'm going to crimp the full length of the ferrule. So press down the button, that will bring the dies down, bring them a bit closer, line the front of the uh, ferrule up just behind the front of the dies and then crimp down. There we go. There's the beep to say it's finished crimping, then press the red button to release. Okay, that's that end crimped. So what I'm gonna do now to make sure that it's crimped correctly is again, using my crimp setting and a pair of verniers, measuring between the ridges. And on there I should get a reading of 23.2 which I've got, so that is crimped correctly. That's how to crimp an end on a hose.